All right, hey everybody, in this video we're going to be prepping a garden uh, for the uh, summer months ahead. So this is a current look at our garden after a long, harsh winter here in the Midwest. And we're going to get this baby uh, up and running again. So uh, we're going to be tilling it and getting up uh, all these weeds and whatnot. We'll be putting down some peat moss and then planting. So here's what I'm using to mul uh, mulch and till up all, all that compacted soil that has um, uh, been sitting over the many months. I'll put a link in the description below. I love this thing. It's essentially a weed eater that has uh, different attachments that you can plug into it. So we'll get this baby fired up here and you can see it in action. Now it's a little on the heavy side, very top heavy, right? But um, overall you're gonna save yourself a lot of trouble, a lot of aches and pains, a lot of injuries. Uh, if you use something like this as opposed to, I think, uh, being on your hands and knees and just shoveling it um, and by hand, right? Shoveling it all by hand. So definitely recommended there. Uh, this just kind of tears everything up. Um, it is a uh, two-stroke motor, so it uh, mixes with uh, gas and oil and has plenty of power. It just, uh, does, you can see here, get, it, get down a little closer, see those blades just chewing up that that dirt, kicking it up, spitting it up, and um, doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. So uh, definitely recommend this if you don't have one. Um, I finished this size of garden in about two minutes, literally. It was that fast. And um, you can kind of t dig it up and, and mulch or till it as, as deep as you want. I did kind of a three inch or so depth. So next up, we will be applying a very thin layer of peat moss. And uh, you can see the family there uh, taking a look. And this is essentially going to help maintain the alkaline acid balance of your soil. And this is not really like soil. It's very puffy and lightweight almost. And I'll put a link in the description below for that if you'd like to read a little bit more about what peat moss does. But here is what we our planting. We have some uh, hot pepper and some tomatoes so we'll get those kind of spaced out and this is kind of how it's it's gonna look. Now you can see here from the roof there's some rainfall. There's not a gutter that will take that or a downspout that will take that rain flow and I did that intentionally. I wanted that to just flow right over the roof and to serve as kind of a natural way to water the um, the garden here, but we're gonna put them um, a little more toward the front so that rain uh, fall does not directly the rainfall off the roof does not directly come and um, and damage or traumatize the the garden here in any way. It'll just hit that soil and still be able to water uh, the roots underneath there. So with that done, that's pretty much the uh, the project. We have our soil all mulched and tilled up nice and fresh, a layer of peat moss on there for fertilization, and we have our garden now planted, giving us uh, something to do, something to eat during the, uh, the summer months. So here, here it is, and I um, hope this video has been helpful for you.